Well guys, today I'm at the Yonkers Animal Shelter, 1000 Ridge Hill Boulevard. And, uh, and the reason I'm here, it's because I love animals. Very, very much. And I believe in adopting instead of buying. Here at the shelter, the Yonkers Shelter, we have lots of animals looking for a good home, a nice place. They have tons of love to give and they're willing to receive all the love you can give okay. so i ask you if you are looking for a a dog a cat any animal come on down here before you buy anything don't buy adopt we have the commissioner here today that handsome looking man look at the smile <laughs> that he is Commissioner, Thanks thank for you. On. Thank you. Appreciate it. Commissioner, tell us about a little bit about our shelter right here, right here in Yonkers. Um, it's it's a, a second home for many of the animals. We're certainly looking for folks to come here and make these uh, animals part of their families. We have currently uh, approximately 45 dogs, uh, 71 cats. We have a, a capacity for a little bit more here. We work with uh, wonderful staff and a wonderful group of volunteers that come in every day, walk the dogs. Uh, we also uh, work very um, closely with our YPD and other departments for animals that may be displaced in, in uh, different situations, uh, you know, with, the, with um, um, arrests and, and things of that nature. We were also um, involved with the uh, recent fire at 15 Parkview on hand as always with the different departments and in this case we're able to um, get six of the cats and we're very happy to say that they're being reunited with their owners and we're still looking to see if there might be more now commissioner you think those animals have all the love that i need because i require a lot of love oh i think so you I think, think so? so i think so i think it could work absolutely there's always a match and you have to make sure you bring up uh, your other uh, animals that you may have in your house. We have a, a room where they can actually get to know each other and we'll find the right match for you. Good. But, you know, some people ask us questions about the high kill shelters, low kill shelters. Yonkers is what? This is a low kill shelter. Uh, only for dogs that may be uh, seriously aggressive or in uh, very, very much a lot of pain. So these we do as much as possible to make sure that that does not happen. We work very closely with uh, different organizations that will help to train, to maybe farm them out, and to find the home. So we do every or our due diligence to uh, make sure that uh, that happens at a minimum. So let's make it clear. It's not like the dog cannot socialize, let's kill him. No. We do everything that we possibly can to make sure that that dog becomes sociable with the humans. Absolutely. When everything is tried out and it doesn't work, then... That's correct. Then the it dog, might or if he's in serious, serious pain. Well, and, which um, is and, and our staff here has their own animals, and they've been um, working with the rescue dogs for a long time. I myself have a rescue dog that is a little over 20 years old and 20. part of my family, and I'm, I'm a firm believer in uh, folks adopting senior dogs because they have uh, a lot of love to give, and they've been trained, and they, they work very well with our uh, elderly and our, our kids. Now, Commissioner, for those that are watching us and they might say, okay, what's the requirement? What do I need in order to adopt a dog? What is it? Uh, you need to come up with your ID. We need to make sure that your uh, building, if you happen to live in one, does accept animals uh, and that you would be a right fit for the animal. And you have and to be responsible, right? Uh, absolutely. And um, our staff here uh, has conversations with the folks that are coming in and with their families and making sure it happens. In some cases, they take the dog home, it may not work, and we bring the dog back, and then what will happen is we'll try to have that dog adopted to a different family. But we work very closely to make sure that the partnership works. This is not that you're adopting, uh, you're bringing home a piece of furniture, you are bringing home uh, a part of a, your family that will be there for years to come. Commissioner, take me around. Let's start with the cats. Okay. Uh, this here is um, our cat playground, um, <laughs> if you will. And many of the pieces that you see here are donated um, by members of the public. Um, um, it's a beautiful view, <laughs> a beautiful window space. They're treated very well, um, and they're um, very sociable. So the cats that are here in this playground, are they ready to go to somebody else's home? Yes. 
Okay. Absolutely. And what about these guys over here? Same here. Uh, these guys, I guess, are a little special. They get their own individual uh, palaces, if you will. Uh, they're also ready to be adopted. I mean, one of the things I want to say about, uh, we, we have house pets, we have domestic pets, and then we also, within our city, we have a very big feral pet cat population. And those are the cats that, if you will, are wild and out there, out there on the streets. And we do our uh, best to, um, once a month, bringing in a uh, mobile van called the Toby Project. It's a spay and neuter clinic. Um, folks bring the cats up from their backyards or their communities, colonies, and they're tested and they're checked out um, and they're put back on the street, but that's for the feral cat population. So uh, it, it's something that uh, I know that the, the mayor and um, our staff has been very um, diligent in trying to put a dent in. So we're working with a group that actually was working with the Department of Health in New York City. I mean, the van here is incredible. It's like a big Winnebago, it's beautiful. And we come once a month. They come here, and it's uh, no on the street. Commission, if I have a cat but cannot afford to have the cat uh, neutered, uh, is that a special price if I want to bring my cat here or no? There's low cost spay and neuter um, places in the area that we can recommend that you go to. It's not something that we do here. Good. So what about the dogs? Let's. Uh, well, we got dogs. We got cats. We got in. We got out. This is a, a vacation spot for. Can I adopt a person? Uh, Anthony, what do you think? Uh, not yet, we're working on that. Okay. <laughs> <We're working> on <laughs> okay. Anything you want to come along with us? Come on along. Sure. Anthony, how long you been here? About eight years. Eight years. eight years. And what do you do here, Anthony? I'm the deputy uh, animal control officer here. Just, you know, day-to-day -day operations. There you go, day-to-day -day operation. He's the boss. The and the other gentleman is the commissioner. Deputy commissioner. Deputy commissioner. Correct. <laughs> Here we go, Nico. We have who do we have this month? Cindy Lou. I have to I have to say though again that we have folks that come up here every day and we're going to do a volunteer recognition um, event sometime in April to thank them for all the hard work that they do. They come out, they pull the dogs out, they walk them. We have uh, you know runs outside. Uh, we're looking forward to now bringing some more equipment and fun little playground things for the dogs out there as well so um, now somebody asked well. me somebody knew that I was coming here today uh -huh. and they told me to make sure that I see Debo who's Debo uh, he's one of our longtime residents here okay we're gonna see uh, Debo gonna see this, this, is, this is Tyler, is Tyler. Here. he's our dog of the month Dog of the month, Tyler. Let me show you Tyler, the dog of the month. Mix, it looks like a bit of a boxer in there. Yes. Boxer mix, yep. That's Tyler, guys, the dog of the month. So if you have a, a yard, if you're looking for a large dog, that's one of the babies. They have a, a whole bunch of beautiful dogs. And if I had to pick one, I don't know which one I would pick, to be honest. That's the, that's the hardest decision yeah. you're going to make. So that's a good. difficult decision. Sure. So you have to come and you have to see if your personality matches with the animal. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's, a, it's a, a match kind of thing. It's not like you come, you see a dog, I'm going to take that one. Right. You have to find out if you, how your personality and matches. That's why you have these circular areas here. We basically try to get the individuals to come in with the animals and acclimate them and see if the partnership's going to work. Good, good. Um, why don't we go this way? We'll take you down to the end. What's great about these pens is they open from the outside as well, so we can clean from the inside. They can have some fresh air on the outside. Good, good. It's Debo right here. That's 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 Debo. Debo. He came in unsocialized, very scared, very nervous, probably about two years ago. Um, now there's multiple volunteers and staff that are able to walk them. Okay, so for those that ask me for Debo, at ease. Debo is getting better and better, more sociable as every you know, day that it's go by. So soon he's ready to go to somebody's home and give you all the love you can handle. So guys, please, don't buy a dog. a little more training, Debo. He needs a little, a little bit training. more training. More training but, but he will get there. Absolutely. And behind you is Priscilla. Oh, here it comes. Is that Priscilla? Oh, she's going up. Can we get in there? Yeah, of course. Okay. Priscilla's in for the night.
Watch some man up this shit. Excited. Maybe they think I'm gonna take them home, and I wish I could. Little guy over here. He's a big guy. What's his name? Red. Okay, guys, that's red. That's a. Uh, I hear. I hear that red is a beautiful boy. Well, I don't hear. I can see it. He's he's trying to play. Look at him trying to get his. Uh, I mean, one of the things we can do too is we bring in dogs that might be undernourished, etc. We want to make sure that uh, we feed them enough so they can be adopted. One of those examples is this little guy. The dog is You heard what the commissioner said? This is animal shelter music. And the lyrics of the song is, come and get me. Do we have any outside right now? Oh, yeah, outside. Yeah. What's great is we have pens outside, so during the day, yeah, they're, when they're the getting fresh air and it's great. No, they also have pens outside when the weather is nice. All these dogs go outside. Yeah, the, the dogs day. go outside for some fresh air. They walk them to make sure they exercise. So they are Mystic's treated. That's a jumper. <laughs> there, <you go. laughs> a jumper. there you go. Well, there's tops on the cages. <laughs> That's right. And don't forget, guys, if you need stuff for your pet, pet luxury is the place to get it. Outside, or? Outside. What's great is we have a lot of different organizations also that raise funds or uh, bring in in-kind goods. I know the animal shelter, uh, the skating rink just did a big fundraiser, um, if you will, for the animal shelter, and we we got a lot of beds, food, toys, etc. Well, Commissioner, there, there was going to be one of my questions. If I'm watching this, uh, if I'm watching this from home. I cannot adopt for whatever reasons, mm -hmm. but I love animals and I want to donate, I want to help, I want to do what I can for the shelter. How can I do it? We'd appreciate anything that you might be able to But get. how? Well, you can bring any of the items that you might want to go out and buy to the shelter. To the, the shelter. front door, we'll accept them. Uh, in addition to which, there are numerous organizations that help animals in the, in the uh, Westchester County area that work with us, and you can certainly work through them as well. But if I'm a, a Yonkers resident, I, I might feel more comfortable. Come by. Call a new guy or tell me there is a GoFundMe, this is where it comes directly to us. Do you have such a mechanism to donate directly, besides me coming over? 
folks also have been donating um, with uh, cash as well, and, and not yeah, cash, but the also, check. There's yes. A, there's an Amazon wish list. Yes. Uh, where you can purchase the product on Amazon mm -hmm. and ship it to us. Okay. That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, We're tell me, animal. tell me, uh, go to Amazon and then what, you know the link or the site? Uh, Yonkers Animal Shelter. Oh, Yonkers Animal yeah. Shelter. Yeah. So you guys can go to, to Amazon, just on the criteria, on the search box, put Yonkers Animal Shelter, and then you just go through the process. Probably yeah. they ask name, donation, whatever. Yeah, you can also call here, we can email you a wish list as well if you want to pick up stuff in the area. So you guys heard it, you know, if you want to help, you cannot adopt, but you want to help, you can help. You can uh, donate some money, some stuff that they need. Just call the Yonkers Animal Shelter, they will tell you, but if you're shy like me and you don't want to call, just go on Amazon, <laughs> Yonkers Animal Shelter, and you will find it, the wish list. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Wonderful. Um, we also have a surgical suite here. Um, do you have a key here? No. No. What is this? This is... This is the kind of the vet, the, ho the hospital? Yeah, we bring in a vet uh, one day a week that works with the animals that we have here. Some of them, they come in with uh, broken bones or limbs or other issues and everything. And the, we have a very talented vet and vet technician that works to make sure that the animals are taken care of and that they become adoptable again. It's a great asset to our building. So and what's great is this building was built in 2013 to replace a, a dated shelter that was on Fullerton Avenue. So there's a lot of... By uh, Midland, right? Absolutely. And th th this is really um, more... State, state of the, the art. art. Absolutely. If I was a dog, this is the place I would like to be brought in. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, sure. Yes. And on occasion, we've taken animals that are not dogs and not cats. We've, like you know, what? We find, we find that around Easter that a lot of folks have a tendency to buy rabbits for their family. And then what happens is th at the end of the season, they're like, well, I'm not going to keep the rabbits. So the rabbits come here and we adopt them out as well. So You know, Commissioner, that's an important point. There is people that uh, Christmas time or, mm -hmm. or whatever time, they go to an animal store and they buy an animal just because of that urge. It's so quick. You know, it's right, right. small, it's beautiful. People should have, how, how would you say, uh, not... They, ha they have to have a long-term view on where that animal is going to yeah. be, and it shouldn't just be for a quick fix Isn't on it? emotions, if you will. Because yeah. so that animal grows, you know, it's absolutely. not going to be little forever. Absolutely. It's part of your family. So be responsible. You got it. Here we so. go. This is the meow. Cat central. <laughs> cat central. Some more cats. So some people like dogs, some people like animals. So like I said in the beginning, Yonkers Animal Shelter, they have all the animals that you, you might be interested in adopting. If it's a cat, they have it. If it's a large dog, they have it. If it's a small dog, they have it. If it's a rabbit, they might have it. So call and check before you buy. And remember, you might think, oh, it's so cute, I'm going to buy a baby one, small. And so, well, that dog, that cat, that rabbit is going to grow. So, uh, and here, when you buy one of those babies, they're already trained. They already l know how to socialize. So give our shelter a chance. The music's a bit quieter, a bit quieter in here. <laughs> Nervous because she doesn't know what I have on my hand. So, but look at her. Look at her.
Well, guys, this is it, I think. So we came to the Yonkers and what, did I miss anything? That's it. Uh, no, it's just That's it? So everything outside, I mean, we, we pretty much, uh, we also do a, a lot of work with, uh, uh, we do National Pet Adoption Day. We, the Pet Adoption League does a Pets with Santa here for your dogs and you, even dogs that you might have at home that you want to take a photo with uh, Santa for the holidays. Um, we're also working with uh, Channel 4, I believe. Uh, clear the shelters on their campaign as well. Uh, we do that every year. Just to bring, um, as you're doing, bring exposure to the shelter and see if we can find some of these uh, little guys' small, uh, homes. Good, good. good and uh, w uh, one of the things, when I think when uh, you go to a shelter, before you look at the animals, look at the shelter. And if you see that the shelter is clean, spotless, mm -hmm. that tells you a lot about the place itself. Okay. Absolutely. If they clean the walls, you can be sure they treat the animals extra, with extra love and care. And I give credit to the staff here. This is one. This is a, a very um, difficult job, uh, both uh, emotionally and all the work that they do here. So I give a lot of credit to the staff that's here. That's correct. The commission is right. You know, uh, most of the guys that are here, guys and girls and uh, men and women, they here because they love the shelter. They love the animals. They love to work with the animals. And they take care of these animals better than a lot of people take care of humans, I guess, sometimes. And we just had success, Elmara. Yeah. The last two cats that we got out of 15 Parkview Correct. were just returned home. to their owners, so we're happy that they got a home. So you heard Good it. Stuff. So that's Elmira. That's the man who takes care of the every day operation. The guy with the big smile. What, what's that's what's your name? Mike. Mike. That's Anthony. That's Mike. Yeah. That's, that's Anthony. Anthony. That's Mike. That's Mark. I'm Mark. And that's Mark. For you to love here, guys, you have to love the dogs. You have to love the cats, and you lo have to love animals in general. So if you need a pet, a cat, dog, a rabbit, this is the place to go. This is the place to come. Before you actually go to any pet store. Don't buy a dot. And here at Yonkers Animal Shelter, we have it all. Okay, so they are ready to give you a lot of love. I think probably more love than you can handle. But they will give you love. So come on down and take one home. Thank you, guys. Thank you.